welcome students in my new tutorial and today i'll be teaching you about clone stamp tool see this is a very beneficial tool and this will help you a lot so firstly what what is a clone tool actually clone tool makes a duplicate of the selected sample part of the image firstly i'll show you what's the work of clone tool so i'll just select clone tool from here S is the keyboard shortcut so I'll just click it so now I want to make the duplicate of these chairs all these images are available with the link which I'll share at the bottom of my tutorial so just to use the clone tool what you have to do firstly you have to press the alt button so what happens when you press the alt button you can see this sign that means it's taking the sample of that image so it's taking the sample of this image so I'll just click it okay so once you will click it you can take some other part you can go you could see here see it's showing the chair that means it has taken that part so now I want to suppose design the same or to make the duplicate of these chairs I'll start like this and you could see I am able to make the same amount of chairs okay it's little lighter why it's lighter actually on the top you could see here opacity in the option bar make it to 100 flow also 100 and now if i'll make the chair suppose i want to make the chair somewhere here in the water that also i can do i'll i'll firstly take the sample see i'm able to make the chairs but it's looking good here only so I'll again take the sample and uh, suppose here I want to make and now I'll make it see now it's making now I'm able to make with the perfect color and texture and it appears that there are now four chairs I hope this is clear and this tool is very beneficial and some options are there here normal so that also I'll teach you but for this I have uploaded some more images and uh, just to explain you how to use this tool okay I hope this concept is clear to you here also the same way like here you can see small huts I've taken the sample here and I want to draw it here yes It's looking realistic okay i hope the concept is clear now i'll take the another image already i have uploaded some images the same way here also suppose this tree i want to make the duplicate i'll take the sample of this uh, by pressing the alt button uh, firstly i have to unlock this image now pressing the alt button and then i can okay suppose here and then i'll just do it like this so it's okay it's not looking that much realistic so what i could do i can little bit decrease the opacity again i'll resample and now let's see how it gives the result see it's looking okay now means i am telling you the different different ways how you can use this tool now the third option the third image which i have taken here i'll do some experiments suppose i have taken this tree and uh, opacity let it be 100 percent only i have taken this tree and from here i'll start So, so it's like a duplicate okay so this you have already learned just now in my previous examples i have shown you but now what the difference i want to show you here i'll just use the undo command i'll make one new layer from here i'll click a new layer this is layer one now when you select the new layer on the top there is one option samples 
so i'll click on sample current and below or all layers that means when i'll use this tool it will sample all the layers at the bottom if i'll not do it suppose i am using current layer only now see the difference and this layer is been selected if i want to make the duplicate nothing i can do now what's the major advantage for making the new layer but before that i'll select all layers that means now it will take the sample of all the layers which are at the bottom earlier also i've told you that layers are just like a transparent sheets but now it will take the sample of all the layers which are at the bottom and at the bottom already this layer is there this layer is there layer 0 if the layer is not there you can always press f7 key so now i'll take the sample sample of this tree okay and now i'll make uh, suppose the tree here okay i had made the tree now what's the major difference major difference is this because i have used the layer my original layer is protected i am not disturbing my original layer so in this way with the use of layer you can still use this tool but in that case you have to sample all layers means this option should be selected so i hope this is clear if you are not satisfied you are always uh, you can press the delete key from here you can delete the layer but just now i'll make a new layer because i have to teach you something else also so i think this concept is clear na that how you are taking the sample and how you are making okay so this is clear to you now there are different modes also different modes how to use these modes for this i don't want uh, the layer at the top now i want to use the modes this is normal mode only that i have showed you now here let's see dissolve mode what's the difference so i'll just like the dissolve mode again i'll take the sample and now i'll see what kind of result it's giving dot dots like nice effect na so you can use this effect also some other effect i'll try so there are plenty of options you are free to use any mode uh, one or two modes suppose uh, multiply this i'll try to use not giving that much difference but it is just trying to merge the colors of uh, surroundings let's see some other one multiply color burn yes this will be more interesting so if i'll use this you see the whole tree seems to be burning burning of colors okay so again i'll take the sample color burn linear burn plenty of options are there so you can just try all these options color dodge lighter color overlay soft light see soft light nice impression it's giving so i hope this concept is also clear you can just try all this hue saturation see hue saturation what a nice effect it's giving saturation it is taking the color only color only it's taking color i'll try see that means nice effects according to your need you can use any mode from here or for simple duplicating you can use normal now i'll take some other image this image i have already taken uh, suppose this image i want to take uh, i'll just unlock this now it can also be used to repair the images now earlier also i have told you different different ways i have told you mixed brush tool and healing tools but this can also be used how it can be used firstly i'll select clone stamp tool and then i'll select the part which is okay for me now this part is okay 
Now this part is okay. I'll just select the part of it and then I'll select this part and click it. See, it's looking realistic. The same way again, I'll take the part and here I'll click. Again, I'll take, see. Then slowly and slowly I can repair the part. Okay. And if something, some creative thing I want to make, you can just Alt plus the Alt button. I click on the eye and see, you could see the eye here. And I can make the eye here also. So these kind of experiments you can do with this tool. It's very interesting tool. So this thing I have already told you. Ha, ah, yes, one more thing I want to teach you about. Along with this tool, there is one pattern stamp tool. Keyboard shortcut is S for both. If I select pattern stamp tool, you could see here some patterns are there. Suppose I want to select this pattern water. So I'll just select it. So sometimes it's beneficial if I'll click it, it's making the patterns here in between. You can use it by selecting also it. Suppose I'll select this water part, it, it has selected the whole part, just the sky part I'll select, that will be easy. And now I want to create some pattern here, so I'll just select pattern stamp tool and now if I want the pattern, I can easily do it. You could see here that I have designed one pattern. It can give you more interesting effects by decreasing the opacity. Suppose I make it to 25. Now let's see. Now see different kind of pattern. So according to the need, you can use these tools. Okay, dear students, I hope both these tools are very much clear to you clone stamp tool and pattern stamp tool. So with this, I'll be closing my tutorial. Still, if you have any doubts, please feel free to comment at the bottom. And if you like my explanation, please do like, share and comment. And if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it so that in future you can get all my updates. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Wait for my next tutorial.